I started off just by explaining the purpose of the process, which was to develop a tool to improve their writing, and that the process would become clearer to them as we move further through the steps. So I started off by explaining to them that I was going to give them examples of an email, two good examples where things were done properly, and they needed to read through them and find out what was done properly in those emails. So I wrote a sentence on the board to write a proper email, I need or I need to, and they would have to try and fill in the sentence. And for each idea, write it on one piece of cardboard. Um, it started off slowly uh, because the process was very new, so they weren't quite sure of what they had to do. With a little coaxing and support, they were able to start pulling out all sorts of ideas. They actually did come up with all of the ideas that were from the rubric. I think it's because the examples, I constructed them specifically based on the rubric. So it should have been obvious what was either missing or done incorrectly. Um, after they did the strong examples, I decided to give them the weak examples after to see what they could get from the good examples. The weak examples were more obvious. Um, so you could see, it was easy to see when you were comparing against a strong example, what's missing, what was done incorrectly. While they were doing that, I was looking at their ideas and organizing them, uh, trying to group similar things together to get them to follow me once I had modeled it. So once I put all of the similar topics together, the students understood that the, this was a category and that we could name it. And then they did the same thing with the remaining cards. I started off by having them pick just one card at random, sticking it on a wall, and then I asked someone to pick up another card that was clearly different from that to create a new category and I did that one more time to have a fifth category and then I told them with the remaining cards that they had uh, to stick them up in one of the three remaining categories where they felt that it fit. A sixth category came out of that as we went through the exercise. Afterwards we did move around a few cards to make sure that they, they were in their proper category and at the end I went over with them how to make a name for each category and, and to basically translate it onto a checklist which I started to build in class so that they could see the beginnings of the checklist and it would be familiar to them when I finalized it.